MLB Network has Saturday Night Baseball from St. Louis. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Chicago Cubs and the St. Louis Cardinals. The Redbirds have played excellent baseball of late. They'll try to bring their win streak to a baker's dozen next. Adam Wainwright will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, we're getting a chance to watch a guy that has 99 career losses. The one thing I'm certain that he doesn't want to do is pick up career loss number 100 in this one here today. So it's going to be awfully important. One, that his team scores him some runs. And two, he shuts down the opponent early. Leading off tonight for the Cubs. Striding in is Ryan base. Sandberg. Ryan. And as you can tell easily Sandberg. from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. First pitch coming from Wainwright. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Chasing after it is O'Neill. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Batting second. The right fielder. With that, a look at the Cubbies starting lineup. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, Matty, the guy I'm here to see is Big Chris Bryant. He's having a solid year. With runners in scoring position, he's hitting over 300. That's not outstanding or anything, but he's consistent, and that's what I love watching about this guy. His game is so consistent. So now here is Jason Hayward, and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Pitch on the way. Nope, a ball and no strikes. And fellas, we take a look at the Redbirds entering play here tonight. All you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is nope, rocking in Both all is. facets right now, and they're a fun watch. Temperature here at game time 61 degrees. Bases are empty, one man out. Hey. Over the outside half, and it's two and one. The offensive game plan today is certainly to see the ball up. This guy is known on the mound for sinker changeup combination. Three three He's going to try and establish down in the zone to get swing and a miss or ground balls consistently. You have to find something above the belt to get loose on. The three one. Shot on the ground is short. Smith is up with it. Throw on to first, and Wainwright has it working now. Two away. Now to bat, Billy Williams. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. One ball, two strikes. Down. Just getting started here in St. Louis. And it lay two off ball. the curveball that's strikes. in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And a sinker there. Swung on and missed for out number three. Cubs are down in order. Nothing for the Cubs to start. Cards coming up next. You're dialed into MLB Network. Adbert Alzale is the man towing the rubber for the Cubs in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, one of the keys to this guy is throwing strikes. He's not a big strikeout pitcher. Only averages less than seven strikeouts per nine innings pitched. So he's more of a pitch-to-contact guy, and you'll know if he's on early. He needs to get quick outs early in Leading counts. For the Cardinals. And stepping the in, Ozzy Smith. As we take a look at the splits between April and May. 
first pitch on the way. Ball, Below the cool. knees, one ball, no strikes. Well, guys, as we look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight, they come in scuffling a bit of late, just two and four over their last six games. Yeah, guys, dropping yesterday was a heartbreaker without question. But you know what? You find a way. You show up to the yard today, you get out of the cab, and you watch countless hours of video, and you try and formulate a game plan to get this back to 500. One and one to start the road trip, and you're moving in the right direction. Okay, this game's that starting off exactly the way they want it to. Lead off single in the bottom of the first after their pitcher went out there and threw a donut on the board. Boys are flying around. Stepping in now, Lou Brock. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He'll enter play here at 3.04. Two home runs and 21 driven in. Comes set and the 0-1. This is a tough guy to turn two on. It's got to be hit hard. If you're an infielder, you've got to catch it and get rid of it quickly. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And that's lined into center field. And look out now. Back-to-back -back singles open up the inning. Hey, two runners on after back-to-back -back singles right there. They are in prime position to put the first no, one on the board right here. Michael Lee. So now to the plate, Michael Lee. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Hit toward the hole. And that's through into left, a base hit. Smith is on his way home. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Boy, when teams are playing well like this team is on a nice little winning streak that's right cool. here. They strike early in that's this one big. to keep the mojo working. Oh. Yeah, Dan, from an offensive Wild. standpoint, everyone searches for confidence, and that's exactly what they have right now. Everyone contributing makes for a fun clubhouse. Blake now, Mark McGuire. Oh, As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. The 1 0. That's the ball. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. Two and one after the foul ball there. Brock on second, Lee at first with no outs. Too high that time, and it's three and one. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting a fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop to second for one. On to Rizzo at first, and they get them both. That is it. The catcher. Now a moment here in St. Louis to look at the Cardinals' starting lineup. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Well, I'm looking for a big performance from Nolan Arenado. He's been on a nice stretch. How about an on-base percentage of over 500 in his last 10 games? That's right. 500 in his last 10 games. That's pretty special. And he's doing a lot to make this lineup click right now. First pitch on its way. Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Man, he wants that swing back. He'll be thinking about that all night. He crushed that ball. He just needs to stay back a little longer. Ready with the 0-1. Nope. Ball one.
count with two and one. Two outs here with a runner at third. All even now, two and two. Two and two. Here it is. Swing and he pops him up. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Ready with the payoff pitch. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he struck him out. So he was forced to make nine pitches that at bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. Cards forced to settle for one. Now at the plate, Ernie Banks. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Curveball, and that this is in the dirt for ball one. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2 0 now. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. Back up the middle, and a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Leadoff knock right there, Dan. How frustrating is it to let that leadoff guy get out? Boy, every pitcher, you want to get that first guy out, Hero. It, it, you, the chances of scoring runs are so much more slim when you get that first guy out. Traffic on the bases, now you have to pitch out of the stretch. It's never easy for the pitcher. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. 258 the average to begin play seven homers and 22 RBIs a one and no delivery outside that's the ball. Swing and a softly hit ground ball. Nobody out, runner on first. And he got him. Boy, he's having a hard time just putting the ball in play right now. He took the hat trick with three strikeouts yesterday, and here's another one today. Looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact. Here's Jock Peterson now. As yeah. the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He'll enter play right at 333. Nine homers and 22 RBIs. Oh, and one, here it comes. Hit on the ground out to short. And that's through for a hit. Hey, you know what? Right there, he executed a pitch. He can't worry about where it's going. He just wants to put it on the ground right there, give his defense a chance to work. And it, it found the hole, period, at the end.
And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He'll enter play here with that average down in the low 200s. Four home runs, 13 RBIs. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. We're in the second with the Redbirds holding a 1-0 lead. Big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. The got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. Hey now. Who's all over the place? Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Contreras in front, two balls and no strikes. You'd never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat, starting right now. Too nope. tight with that one. Three Great and ball. oh. No break. Right. Ready with the three and oh. Hey. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Three and one, but two on. And this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove him one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. Three and one. Here it is. Helpful. Swung on and missed. Three and two. Staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Up strand a couple. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. So now to the play, Tyler O'Neill, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. Two balls and no strikes to the Cardinals center fielder. And there is our officiating crew in this one calling balls and strikes. Mr. Freddie Ferguson. You know this is one of the guys behind the dish Freddie Ferguson Dan that the rookies are going to have a tough time with. If you've played in the league for a little bit you understand that he's got his own zone. Uh, you touched on it Dero. I think he rewards the veteran players not only pitchers but position players. He makes the younger players he makes them earn their keep. Fouled away. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to start the at bat. The third base That's a pretty bad place no to way. be, but then he kind of All refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. Arenado swings, and this one is crushed out to left field. Adios, pelota! No 
Nolan Arenado touches them all. Fourth home run for him on the season as the Redbirds have taken a two to nothing lead. Hey, as a pitcher, when you see one that's hit high and deep, you hope that it goes foul and it hits off that foul ball and makes that doink noise. You want to cry. As a hitter, you want to smile because you were able to keep one just fair. That brings in Tommy base. Edmund. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. The average sitting to 292 here to start play. Six home runs and 19 driven in. Grounder down the line at third. One out, nobody on. Nope, it's that's one and two. To two Ooh, balls and two strike. strikes now. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. And it's fouled away. This misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Peterson, the range to his left and put it away. Two down. Batting done. The pitcher. And a wing right. So next to bat will be Adam Wainwright. And now the first pitch. And he puts it on the ground to second. Reined in. Throw to first beats him easily and the side is retired. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. We've played two. It's now 2 nothing St. Louis. Welcome back to Bush Stadium, home of the Cardinals, who've proven to have one of the best pitching staffs in baseball this year. Coming into the day, they rank first in the league in both ERA and strikeouts, a combination that has opposing lineups searching for answers. One member of the staff told me, it's a special group of guys. I've never been on a pitching staff that's so dominant top to bottom, and I've been on some pretty good ones. Now, one of the hitters on the team told me, I'm relieved I get to stand behind them and play defense instead of staring them down in the box. That can't be fun. Matt, back to you. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Now the pitch. Adbert Alzale is in to start things off here as he looks at a cold strike. It's nothing in one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Outside, two and one. Line to the right side. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first out. Now back, second baseman, Ryan Sandberg. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Ryan Sandberg. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Here it comes. One. Count 1 and 0. One home. 
Sandberg. Just 24 years of age. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. Now batting the right fielder, Jason Hayward. So here is Jason Hayward. He bounced out last time up. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A.B. that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try to get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A.B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. The windup and the 0-1. That's a ball. Hey, a two-out walk ball, right here would be the time run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you've got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. The 1-1 home. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. Lee is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They're down two to nothing. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, Ozzy Smith. I'm interested That's to see job. how focused their ABs will be playing with this lead. I think this needs to be a little bit of a smell blood. Keep the fire rolling. I know it's early, but keep the pressure going. Swinging the bat's nice. Ball and two. a slider stays outside, and he falls behind 2-0. Oh. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Two and one now. Into the windup and the pitch. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Now here's the pitch. Full count okay. now, three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Hit in the air down the right field line. Hayward is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Well, he had to track that one for a long time, and he did so while looking back over his shoulder. Not an easy play by any means, but they practice these all the time. In now, Lou Brock runs up and gets this one down. And he'll beat the throw as he's got himself a bunt single. The right field. Right ball. Now at the plate, here is Michael Lee. He delivered an RBI single in his last trip. Check on first, and he'll dive back in. From the stretch, here's the pitch. I got one ball, one strike. to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Ready to deliver the one and two. I got to count. Two and well two. above the letters with the fastball that time. 
I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal, you can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. And this one's in the dirt. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, the intent there with that two-strike pitch was obviously to get him to fish for something he couldn't do a whole lot with. But there's the risk that comes with that as well. If you don't execute or your catcher can't handle it very well, you give up three bases. And that misses ball four. Ball four. Ball four. So with one out, that will at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. I'm sure the manager is fine with that. He tried to entice him with that 3-2 pitch, but he didn't take the bait. First base was open, though, so he just needs to make a good pitch for a ground ball. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Mark McGuire. First pitch of the A-B now. Now the 0-1. Fastball misses one in the one. dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. The bouncer to the left side. And that's through. A base hit. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's a 3-0 game. The catcher number four. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out no, to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Into the box, Yadier Molina as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and all. These guys hitting aren't in first place by accident. They excel at getting out to early lead, so this is a big moment in this game. If they're able to lengthen this lead any more in this inning, they're going to be in really good shape to come away with a win today. Here's the 1-0. One, -oh. one and one the count now. So far this season with runners in scoring position, Molina carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Lee at second, McGuire at first, one gone. Two and two to the Cardinals catcher. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Great spot on that 2 2 fastball. You can't place it on the inside corner any better than that. As a hitter, there's just not a whole lot you can do with that unless you're looking for it and time it just right. Love seeing a guy that can work the inside with his fastball. At the plate, Tyler O'Neill as it's grounded sharply to first. On to the back with it is Rizzo, and the inning is over. Two hits here in the inning lead to a run for the Redbirds. Set for the start of the fourth. Coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Billy Williams. Billy Williams. First pitch on its way. As he grounds one briskly to short, right to Smith. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. So with one away let's punch up the graphic and show you the pitch speed comparison for the two starters here in the fourth inning and you can see both guys into the 90s one guy well into the 90s 97 versus 91 on the top velocity so far. And now Bernie Banks he singled in his first A.B. The pitch. And a strike called at the knees. Nothing in one. Oh. 
And he falls behind 0 and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Grounded softly to the right. On to first, Got and it. that is two quick outs to start the fourth. Now batting, the third baseman, Chris Bryant. Here's Chris Bryant now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch coming from Wainwright. 1 0. No runs, two hits, no errors so far for the Cubbies. Yeah. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Man, this guy's in a good groove right now. Seven straight retired. He's locked in. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. The 2-1. Yeah. Into right field. That's a base hit. Boy, just when you're looking for one of those shutdown innings, get two quick outs, D-roll, then you give up a two-out base hit to extend no. the inning. Yeah, you show me a, a big league ball player that's going to give away an A-B. No chance. Everybody's in there grinding every at-bat, every plate appearance. Nice job. Maybe a little two-out lightning start. So next to bat will be the left-handed hitting John ball Peterson one. as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. A base hit in his first trip. A two ball no strike yeah, count to the Cubs out. center fielder. Outside oh, three out. and oh now. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. Here it is, the 3 0. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. O'Neill waits on it. No problem with this one, and the inning is over. Cubs strand one. They trail in this one, 3 0. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cardinals to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And one thing he mentioned is how well they're doing it, simply putting the ball in play. We looked into the numbers, and as a team, they've had a contact rate of over 85% in this game, meaning that when they swing the bat, they're missing the ball less than 15% of the time. To put that into context, the very best teams in baseball usually are right around 80% for an go. entire Four season. So at least for today, the they're just playing man. an amazing ability no to put wood to ball. Oh, oh, oh. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. I guess the game plan from the offensive standpoint today coming into this one was they were going to work the counts. They've been super patient at the plate in the early goings of this game, and they've got the lead looking for more. Inside, Way oh inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Two balls and a strike oh, to the St. Bad. Louis leadoff hitter. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. The 2 1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor, he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. 
Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. I might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, now but instead he gets the fastball play. way late. Had no chance to put and that man. ball in play. Into the box now, Tommy Edmond. Fouled off. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And he misses with it one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Called strike two. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. And he struck him out as well, so the bottom of the order providing little resistance here, and there are two away. The picture, number 50. Stepping in once again Adam. is Adam Wainwright. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Here's the pitch. As he'll swing and pop this one up near second base. Sandberg is under it. No problem with this one, and the inning is over. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We played four full. It's the Cardinals three and the Cubs nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. A lot of their outs have come from weak contact and strikeouts as a result of chasing pitches outside the strike zone. He said it's going to be extremely important for them going forward to be more selective with their swings and force the opposition to throw more strikes. All right, Heidi, thank you. Leading off the Cubs. And now here is Anthony Rizzo Anthony. struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Out in front of it, strike one. This year against right-handed pitching, Rizzo is below the Mendoza line, batting average under 200, unfortunately. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. The 1-1. One, one. swing that time but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire and that'll be the first out of the inning. Always tough for one of these base umpires to the make a call on a guy's four. check swing. Milford. It's not a great angle and everything happens so quickly so they really have to be paying attention out there. Looking at the replay I think he got it right so that's a tip of the cap for the blue. Line drive and that's a base hit into center field. Dan, that can't bother you too much as a pitcher. Guy swinging first pitch. Now, one of the things the you want to do, D. Rose, is you have to try to get ahead with the first pitch. You want to throw one of the first two pitches for strikes. Unfortunately, sometimes when you bring the ball in the strike zone, you're bound to give up some base hits, but hopefully he can minimize the damage here. To the plate now, Adbert Alzale wanting to avoid the double play here as he gets this one down. The second for one. But wisely, no thought of a return throw, and the inning will continue. Uh, he got the bunt down, but he didn't deaden it enough. Really good job by the first baseman to charge in and make a good throw to second to get the lead runner. Now to the plate, Ryan Sandberg, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. The 
one. Oh. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. High in the air into shallow left center. O'Neill waits on it. And that will end the inning. One left for the Cubs. They trail it here three to nothing. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And stepping up is the shortstop. Ozzy Smith. Not shortstop. Ozzy. First pitch on its way. As the fastball is swung on and missed. Good location down at the knees for strike one. Fastball misses oh, inside. It. It's even at one. Swing and a line drive. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. So a ringing single here to center field makes it two hits for him on the night. And as you see there, he's currently pacing this Redbirds team in that category. Now in the box, Lou Brock. He's got hits in both of his at bats so far in this one. He's set. Here it comes. That's a ball. And he'll start him with a slider that's taken down and away for ball one. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. The 1 0. Hey. Laid off, but in there for strike one. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there. Going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. Smith aboard here at first with nobody out. Throw over to the oh, bag, and the runner will get back standing. This is two and one. Now a throw over to first and the runner back in standing. And another throw over and the runner back safely. Now the 2 1 pit is strike two swinging. Two and two. Here's a look over to first and the runner back easily. Three runs, seven hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Lifted in the air out to center field. Peterson will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Now batting right fielder Michael Lee. Here comes the Chicago skipper now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third, and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Your Zach Davies please. enters to make an appearance on the mound the as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Zach Davies. Michael Lee will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. From the belt, the pitch, 
Runner goes for second. Strike called. Now the throw down. Not in time. He's in there at second. Well, that stolen base was about as bang bang as they come. And his show track demonstrates to us right here it was his top speed that really made all the difference. He's definitely got wheels, and they were on display there. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Just off the outside that time. Laid off for a ball. The 2-1 is a changeup that gets him off balance for a strike. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Popped him up. Bryant is there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The first baseman, number 25, Mark McGuire. So the next to bat will be Mark McGuire singled in his last at bat. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. No balls and a strike to count. A ball and a strike to the Cardinals' first baseman. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. A 1-1. Makes him check his swing, but he went around for a strike. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. A 1-2. Inside, ball one. Swing and a line drive. But he will close fast out there in right field as he comes on to put it away, and the inning is over. One left for the Cardinals, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Jason Hayward. Jason Hayward. And the pitch. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball that's 1 0. Pitch on the way. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. Into the corner and slicing foul. Now the 2 1. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. Up next to the top, the left fielder, Billy Williams. Standing in now, Billy Williams. This will take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1-0. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Here's a breaking ball that falls in there for a strike to even things at one and one. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. And there's out number two. Now batting. The shortstop. Ernie Banks. The next cub up. Ernie Banks grounded out in his last at bat. 
first pitch of the A.B. now. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. And a check swing here as he oh, couldn't good, help down. himself, and it's ruled strike two. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Cubs are down in order. Still down 3 nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the Lito. inning. Oh, and that'll bring home. in the veteran catcher, the catcher. Yadier Molina. Yadier. Molina. First offering on its way. No offer at that point. It's a cold strike. Davies, once a member of the San Diego Padres organization, he was acquired via trade last year. Yeah, this guy's fully settled in with this ball club right now. Knows what the manager and coaching staff expect from him. Is not taken aback by anything. He's been through the spring training process and gotten to know everybody in this organization top to bottom. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Hey, that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. The one-two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. him up toward the left side of the infield and there's the first out. And with one away let's give you a look at the standings in the NL Central entering play as you see where these two teams sit in relation to one another. Stepping up is Tyler O'Neill. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. Bases are empty, one man out. Ball one. one. One one. That's in. Ball two. This right-handed pitcher, his bread and butter is that two-seamer, and he loves to throw it inside. Grounded down the third baseline, and that's the second out. Definitely oh, worth another look with our show track down. Great reaction from the hot corner to make the backhand stop, and then he unleashes that very strong throw while in the air all the way across the diamond. He's going to be smiling about that one. Nolan Arenado will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. They say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Swing and a line drive. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside no out of the plate right 19. there. Try to bust him Second in, B-Row, and he fights it off the other way. Oh, yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. 
In now, Tommy Edmond. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball. 1-0. Oh. 0 oh for 2 for him to this point. Now the 1-0. Oh. That's ball two. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Hitters count. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Ball three. Three balls, one strike. That's popped up. Banks into shallow left. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Cards leave one, but they lead it 3 nothing. Now it'll be Chris Bryant. Last time through was a base hit. The third base hit. Chris Bryant. First pitch coming from Wainwright. One oh. Hey, every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. The windup man, the one oh pitch. Runs oh, outside, so it goes to two and oh now. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Down Whoa, low and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. Three balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Swung on and hit on the ground at the Wizard. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The center fielder, number 24, John. Now to the plate. Here is Jock Peterson. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. First offering on its way. Nope, outside. And this one's too far two. inside. Ball two. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. Waiting next is Anthony Rizzo. Three zero pitch is yeah. looked at for the first strike. And that's ball. low ball four. The first base is number 44, Anthony. Rizzo. So a runner at first now with one away, and that brings in Anthony Rizzo. From the stretch. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. The 
working for the punch out and the offering. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. The one two is taken two for ball, ball two. two Here now the 2 2. Liner in there for a base hit. They'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. Hot shot down the line. And this will get by him at third. Down the line. It's a fair ball. And the run will score from second as it's back to just a two-run ball game now. You know, d -Roll, they finally pushed a run across here the yesterday. Pitcher. They were shut out, so anytime Ooh. they can score, it's almost like throwing a party. Yeah, Dan, no kidding. Looking at dugout, looked like there was steam coming out of the hitting coach's ears right there. They had to get the offense going. Maybe that's the breakthrough they needed. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Daniel Ponce de Leon will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Matt Carpenter is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Eric Sogard will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Eric Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Breaks his bat as this one's popped up. And he finds a way to focus on the baseball there as he has it for a big out number two. Up next to the count. The second base. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Ryan Sandberg. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. From the belt, kicks and deals. Nope. Breaking okay. ball that time, but misses out of the zone. Rizzo over at second. Contreras at first, two out in the inning. At the top, two. it's 2-0. and oh. Hey, time to start making nope. some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Here's the 3 0. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's 3 and 1. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. Here it is on three and one. Liner towards second, but this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. Two hits in the inning lead to a run for Chicago. Andrew Chafin will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 39, Andrew Chafin. At the plate now is Matt Carpenter. He's newly entered into the ballgame, so this will be his first trip Matt. to the plate here in inning number seven. Carpenter. He 
comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Nope, up there. A little late that time ball, as he strike. swings and misses for strike one. Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. The one two. Misses. Ball right, two. Two and two. Turned on, but it's wide at first and foul. Another try at 2 2. Popped him up. Contreras over to his left. One out. Now batting. The shortstop, Ozzy Smith. Digging in, the switch hitter, Ozzy Smith. So far, two for three in this one. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Ball one, no That looks like the Cubs will get a left-hander up and working out of the bullpen. Popped up. And that's in there. Base hit. Wow, talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third single of the game, D-Row. Three for four. Not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution. Stepping in now. Lou Brock. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. One oh. Hey. And there he goes towards All second. Two. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Certainly a very close play at second on that bag. So let's analyze it with show track. We all know he's got plus speed on his side. And you really see it represented in the top speed. That really made the difference on that one. Three and one with the Cardinals left fielder. Part of the order on deck. So keeping this two hole hitter off the bags is always important. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Run, run, run. And now the runner's trying for third. Pitch taken for ball four. The throw. Skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Almost looks semi-intentional there. The bad news is that there are two men on base. The good news is that an inning ending double play is now in order. Next up, Michael Lee and their runners at the corners now. Over to first, but the runners back easily. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. So far this season, Lee is exactly a one for three hitter. That means a 333 batting average. His batting average right now certainly signifies that this guy is having a great year. I'm very interested to see how this guy finishes up. Now the one and one pitch. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. The 
one two. Nope, that's it. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. The runners are at first and third, one away. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Into the box, Mark McGuire lifted in the air to right field. And what an effort on the running play to end the inning. Cards strand a couple, and it's still 3-1. to one. Jordan Hicks has been summoned from now, the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 12, Jordan Hicks. Ready to begin the eighth. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Jason Hayward. And now the first pitch. As he'll take a look at his strike right down the middle. It's 0 and 1. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Breaking ball, ball below the right. zone. That's ball one. Hey. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. That's a pretty now unique pitch sequence, guys. Usually really pitching good. is all about mixing really pitches good. and location. But he threw that all out the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row. So I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. At the plate, Billy Williams. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike oh, one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. 3 to 1 our score. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And that one is gone! A solo shot here to left as it's now a 3-2 ball game. Pitcher making a move his feet right there probably upset him a little bit. He dug right back in, didn't lose his toe hold, and absolutely clobbered that pitch. So now to the plate, Ernie Banks. Tries to hold up, but did he do so in time? No, says Joe McDonald at strike one. Here comes the 0 1. Oh, got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Every pitcher gives up home runs, some more than others, but the best ones forget about them as soon as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. Into the box now, Chris Bryant. Nope. As the first That's pitch inside. to him runs a bit inside for bowl one. He's working on a one for three thus far.
Ready with the 1 0. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. Two balls and a strike. And it's two balls and two strikes now. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Two out, nobody on. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays Three, off two. it for a ball. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. And he lays no, off ball four, so now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Well, the reason power hitters generally the draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw no. right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Giovanni Gallegos enters the ball game out of the pen, looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Gallegos. Stepping in next, Jock Peterson. Lifetime versus this arm. Small sample, a perfect one for one. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. Bryant is off of first with two away. That's the ball. Fastball upstairs here that runs it to 2-0. Strike called, two and one. And it Outside. misses, three and one now. Anthony Rizzo would be next. Set, here's the three one. Swing and a high fly ball out to left field. It's gone. They've taken the lead in the eighth. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left as they've taken a one-run lead. Excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. The first baseman, number 24, Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo stands in now, and he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. O'Neal is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Cubbies are in front, four to three. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Lee Smith is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Javier Baez will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Now with the plate is Yadier Molina. He'll get things started the now pitcher. in the bottom of inning number eight. Molina. No, 
Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch as he lifts it in the air to right field. Hayward moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. The center field. Tight number game here. 27. Four three our score as we take the opportunity to compare the performances oh, turned here. in by the two starters. Next to bat for St. Louis, Tyler O'Neill. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. First offering on its way. Hey, you could tell right there the hitter was almost fooled by that pitch, expecting the nasty slider to break down and away, and it hung in the middle of the plate, too late for him to pull a trigger. Swing and a miss, down. and things okay. are not looking real promising here. Down 0 and 2. I'll tell you, he just doesn't look comfortable in the box to me tonight. He's been off balance with his swings, and that one completely tied him up. Still no balls and two strikes. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0 2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. And the slider gets him swinging to God. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he now struck now, out. The we're pitcher. only in the second game Real of this series. Guy Diego. Your Stan Musial will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number six. Dan. First pitch of the A.B. now. As with two away, he'll oh, swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. Four, three, our score here as we play the eighth. And it's one and one to stand the man. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Now the 2 1. Hit to short. And that finds its way through for a base hit. The batter number 19. Second baseman, Tucker. At the plate now, Tommy Edmond. And he puts it on the ground to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One left for the Cardinals. Still down a run. It's 4 3. Andrew Miller enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Andrew Miller. Now to the plate, Wilson Contreras. Lifetime against Andrew Miller, batting at an even 400. Wilson Contreras. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Well, that's a surprising late swing on a heater, middle cut right there. In a fastball count, he's going to have to turn it up a notch. The 0-2 once more. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. O'Neill has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. The center fielder, number nine, Javier Baez. And that brings up Javi Baez. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Now here's the first offering. And he got him out in front that time. Count. Strike one. I 
Slider and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Another 0 and 2 coming. Shooting ball, for that low right inside down. corner, but he missed with it. One and two. And he fouls this one off. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. Another one two delivery. begin the ninth. Up next, Ryan Sandberg. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0. Turned on down the line. And there's his first base hit in this one. The throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Cubs. And it remains a 4-3 game. Frank Kimbrell enters the game to finish now, this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Number 46, Craig Kimbrell. Leading up for the Cardinals, the third Digging in now will be Matt, Matt. Carpenter. As the first pitch turn is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 1 0. Nope. Don't expect this pitcher to throw something over the heart of the plate. He's going to have to stay on the corners right here. Huge spot in this game. Do not miss over the heart and get beat. Ready with the 2 0. And he misses again three. with it here. It's 3 0 now. Great situation right here. Leading off the inning. You've got to find a way to get on base any way possible. But I don't like to take the aggression away from hitters. If it's in your zone, I want you swinging. And this is taken for ball four. So just like that, the time runs aboard to start the home half. Well, that is definitely okay. not the Number way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. Yeah. He looks a little thrown off right now. And now back to the leadoff spot from the St. Louis lineup. Stepping in, Ozzie Smith. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. Comes set. Now the pitch. Nice job by the pitcher right there to establish himself back into the strike zone. Would have liked to have seen the hitter been a little bit more aggressive in that situation. Usually when a pitcher throws four balls in a row, that next pitch you can get super greedy right down the middle. Set to deliver the 0-1. Oh, Can't find the zone there as he one lays one. off the breaking ball. Ball that misses. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Carpenter on at first, nobody out. Oh, 
Three balls and a strike to the Cardinals shortstop. Got to find a way to get back in the zone. I know you're in danger of losing both to walks, but certainly don't miss over the heart of the plate and have this guy gap one, or even worse, hit a two-run homer. One pitch. Swinging a soft liner, but gloved by the third baseman for the out. The left fielder, number 20, Lou Brock. Next to hit, Lou Brock. He's two for three and looking for more here. Set and the pitch. Aye. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, it's nearly impossible to turn two with a guy that could run like this. It's even harder when he comes out of the box hitting from the left side. You really need something tailor-made to even have a chance to get him at first. Pitch is mishandled oh, behind the plate and it bounces away. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Yeah, that's an unfortunate pass ball, and you can bet the catcher is kicking himself about it right now with the runner advancing to second the double play is off the table might come back to haunt him not in front of that one but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2 I mean, he's coming right after him Matty three fastballs in a row Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. And this throw gets away from him. Stepping in now, Michael Lee. No, that's so take a look at ball one. They'll go to work on getting that tying run home from second. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Hey, this offense has this closer in trouble right here. They have to find a way to keep applying pressure. I don't know. Everybody come step in the dugout. Get on this guy and make him nervous. Cardinals down to their final strike here. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Mark McGuire would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Fouled away. Set the payoff pitch down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Ready with the payoff pitch. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. The closer is supposed to slam the door on his opponent, but he left the door wide open with a walk there. We'll see if they can capitalize on it.
Next will be the cleanup hitter, Mark McGuire. The base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. First pitch on its way. Yeah. Two big outs here, but the tying and winning runs are both out there. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Here's the 2-1. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Now this guy's got some of the nastiest stuff in the game, and it is absolutely no fun for an offense to try and piece together any Struck him out, so he'll strand the possible tying run at second, and a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. The Chicago Cubs came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Andrew Chafin claims the win out of the pen, his first. Craig Kimbrell records the save, his tenth. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and Heidi Watney on the field, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Have a good night, everybody. the final line score tonight first for the victorious Chicago Cubs four runs on nine hits no errors they left six men on base for St. Louis three runs on ten hits no errors they left ten men on base time of the ball game three hours and six minutes tonight's paid attendance at Bush Stadium a sellout 45,529. The Cardinals would like to thank you for joining us. Please drive home safely. Thank mm -hmm. you.